What's up, you guys? What's up with this shit in your circle with the uh, exhumed here? Now, this is a word, exhumed, you know, for other readers who use this word in your messages thinking you're the only person that could get that message and you want to copyright some shit and fail because you think you're the only one who can use that word. You guys are just weird. What's up with this shit in your, in your circle? Somebody got exhumed, obviously, hmm? Silence and cup. Silence and cup. So that tells me that somebody possibly stuck something in somebody's drink to silence them. They could have wanted to do this with you. This could be a situation where you exposed something that happened to somebody or there was something off about somebody's passing and they could possibly have gotten exhumed or they knew that this was going to happen and somebody was trying to put something in your cup to silence you. Water energy. Heart-shaped box. Hmm. In your circle and exhumed. What's this? Family. This seems like family. Seems like some family members get disappointed. People are gonna be very, very disappointed in some of these family members in your circle. This is I mean, this could be your community. If you guys talk to people in your community, this could definitely be a mother. You closed out a cycle with this person. Ooh. All right, Empress. Tell me about this Empress. This definitely could be a mother or a sister. Empress, King of Pentacles, grandfather. Is this the father of your mother? Is this your grandfather? Because that's what I think this is. Put one on this King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, male. But this is an older male. Spider web, by no doubt. Yep, spider web. So somebody, they possibly were doing some of that magic, like spider, what is that? Spider web spells or some shit? I don't even know how to do it, and I'm so grateful. Taurus, this could be your father or your grandfather. This could be someone that they're married to as well. Is this your father getting exhumed? Hold on a second. 30. What's that about? I command the true spirit. I command the true spirit. Today is October 20th, 2022. Thank you. Can you clear that, please? I command the truth. I command the truth, spirit. Is this Empress a Divine Feminine? So this is Divine Feminine's family members. Can you clear that, please? I command the true spirit. Is this King of Pentacles a grandfather? A grandfather. Is this a grandfather of a Taurus? I command the truth. Taurus, what's up with your grandfather? Did your family members have something to do? With something that had to do with your grandfather's passing. They're not getting the payout they thought they were going to get. Because I'm guessing somebody's body got exhumed. And whatever this payout they thought they were going to get, something's blocked. This could be bank accounts also being frozen because of something that's coming out about how this grandfather really passed. Disrespected ancestors is at the bottom. So there could have been some necromancy involved. Is cheating online. This is just this is just somebody who's pretending to be somebody else, or the cheating online, you know, it's like scammers or this out of the other. Hmm. Chosen one. Someone was trying to be you. Is this someone who was trying who was saying is cheating online and chosen one? This is somebody who was trying to be you, saying that they were you in a situation. Is cheating online? They could have signed your name. So there could be something here about somebody didn't want you to get something that was left to you by a grandparent. I don't know if Sandra means anything to you guys. Silence and Sandra. I mean that could be that that chick Sandra that died in the custody in, in in the holding cell that they said that she killed herself and nobody Sandra Blanche what was her name Blanche Blanchard Sandra I hope you rest in peace my love 
Maybe I'll pull on your energy. They just kind of flew out, right? Let me just see. Somebody said they were you, Taurus. They lied. They signed some paperwork saying that they were you because of some money. Yeah, they lied. Chosen one and said they were you. With the, with the Hierophant here, you could if you're not a Taurus, but they lied about some shit on some documents. I'm walking in a spider web. Somebody walked into the same fucking web that they created for you. I mean, and that's literal. Like, like this, this could be a sibling of yours that's under judgment. These people also lied about a judgment that was coming to you. They lied. Is cheating online, chosen one. This could even be court, online court, where somebody could have said that they were you. They, they lied about, about this judgment, this money. So yeah, court. Supreme Court, the small claims court they're talking about. There's court, and somebody was lying and said that they were you. Petty claims. Which one of these cases we want to try? He just said, yeah, this is a this is a case that you were involved in. I don't even know if you realize the shit. But these these motherfuckers, like, I feel like these are people who constantly play victim. They lost. Whatever this court case is, they lost. Let's get some letters. I can understand that move, though, he said. Sometimes it's got dirty clothes. Sometimes it's got clean clothes. So somebody was trying to air out your dirty laundry here. And now their, their dirty laundry is getting aired out. Sandra again. Mm -hmm. It's all about the placement. Not in a normal spot. Placement. Something could have been misplaced in a situation where they're going over something. Obviously, with, with the death of somebody for the exhumed to be here. SF. There's something about DNA or something about... Yeah, they're, they're going over something with somebody's death. Yeah. SFF. Battle their case out. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. I mean, there could be somebody in your family that's getting exhumed, and there could be other people in your family that they could have possibly tried to sue you because this is happening. How do you break it to you? There may be somebody in your family, in your circle, that actually want, want to bring you to court. They, somebody may be trying to figure out a way to get you in court. Sorry to sneak attack you like this. Weak seed. Yeah, they like to take because they're weak. They can't produce anything. They don't know how to sow good seeds. So all they do is take. They're weak. I command the true spirit. I command the true spirit. Is this what you're telling me? What, what I'm listening to? Is somebody's going to try and take somebody to the court? Can you clear that please, spirit? I command the true spirit. Did this happen already? Did this happen already? I command the true spirit. I command the true spirit. Is this family members that are going to want to take somebody to court over something? I command the true spirit. I command the true spirit. Is it going to work? Is it going to work? No. You got family members that still want to take you to court because there was a grandfather in a situation that was exhumed? Or the... Okay. Thank you. The fact that this person got exhumed is because... This is what I'm getting. This thing will be for everybody. If you expose something in your family about the, the like suspicious passing of a grandparent... You could have this this brought attention. So this is what I'm getting. You started exposing stuff about either this group or your family, this group of people here, divine feminine, empress, about an older man.
and they could have started like wanting to sue you because of what you were saying and it could have drew attention to something like well why do you want to sue this person if they're talking about this why does this bother you so much and that led to somebody's body being exhumed divine feminine it's bothering him so it was bothering somebody It bothers these people that you were exposing something and it drew attention. There's somebody that was, I'm guessing there's somebody here. This King of Pentacles and this Hierophant could be somebody of, of like authority where they were like, look, um, I want to have this body exhumed because why are all of these people? You could have been saying that you thought it was a little suspect on how a grandparent or a father or something passed away and your family members... They could have tried to sue you because of stuff you were saying and they couldn't sue you. But this, it's like drew attention to something like what, what are they talking about? So tell me what it is that these people want to sue them over. Oh, why though? That's right. That's weird. Is there truth to this then? Because why would this bother these people? 811. I feel like these people literally, they can't even get mad at you for the shit that came out. Because... It was the fact that they were so hell-bent on stopping you from saying something. And it's it's like, are you the father? Love, Maury. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Wait a minute. Is this your father, Divine Feminine? Is this your father? I command the truth. I command the true spirit. Is this a Divine Feminine's father that's getting exhumed? Father that's getting exhumed? Is this for like DNA or something? What's going on, Divine Feminine? Huh? What's going on? Hold on. So, you know, with this, I just wanted to say something that I kind of figured out recently. When you move away from the family members and you, you know, your subconscious is filled with all kinds of shit and you manifest off of what's in your subconscious, which most of us didn't know, which is why it's crucial to do subconscious mind flushes. If you feel like you've opened your mind up to like shows that have a lot of violence or negative shit attached to it, or you've just been listening to frauds or whatever, <laughs> um, because when you clear out your subconscious, you actually start changing your DNA. You start thinking differently. When you move away from negative people who are just suppressive and oppressive and depressive, uh, you start to change now the kind of person that you are. You start clearing out your subconscious and filling it with positive shit, like things that are you, that represent you and not other people that you've been around. And now you're the manifester of the group, so now you're manifesting all of their negative shit that they're projecting onto you that you're believing that goes into your subconscious. And now you manifest shitty shit and these other people are manifesting off your energy. Is that how energy harvesting works? All I know is that when you separate yourself and you start now having your own beliefs and, you know, um, you start changing who you are while well, changing back to who you originally were, you're going to see your life change because you're manifesting different things now. You're manifesting for you. You're not allowing people to, to use your energy, um, whether it's just needing you around to put them in a better mood and then they just drop you on your face when you need them. You know, or, or whether they actually do a spell work using your energy. It's different. It, energy manipulation is very vast. So, but in this situation, though, I guess this is your father or, or what you presume. They could be doing a DNA thing for somebody's father. Why? Why would this be uh, him? What's this? What happened here? Trick him. Labor and trick him. Somebody's father. Thank you, spirit. Sexuality, thought, sexuality, labor, and trick him. Look at that. Can you guys see that? That's crazy. So did your mother trick your father? Tell me about this, are you the father? Aquarius energy, possibly. Um, tell me about, are you the father? Love, Maury. Yeah, this father could have walked away from you, or you could have been told to like walk away from this father. Because they're not yours. Your real father could have walked away. Your real one could have actually walked away. Tell me about this eight of cups. Is walking away. Walking away from what? 
Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or you walked away because this car, this father was karmic. You walked away from a karmic father, right? You cut them out because this person was keeping you stuck. And then what? Okay. He felt rejected from this person anyway. You are very loving with the Queen of Cups at the bottom. And I feel like you were very uh, loving to this father. And they pretty much, I feel like they kind of walked away from you. Or they made, they, you felt like you didn't matter. Common? You have anything in common? Did you have anything in common? Yeah. You felt rejected by this whole family group. Okay. So, and then what? Good karma, I just saw. Mm -hmm. Third eye chakra. You walked away from this karmic father in your life. You felt rejected by them. You could have felt like they didn't really want you anyway, unless you brought them some kind of like ten of cups, like whether you were doing them a favor, or if you can bring me something that makes me happy, I don't want nothing to do with you. And now is losing their mind. Why? Why? They're losing their mind? Oh, insurance money. No! <laughs> no! Oh, fuck. I know you better than you think. So you... you you knew somebody better than you thought, or they, you, I don't know. Somebody knew somebody better than they, the other person thought that they knew. Um, there's also another situation here of a fire sign. There's a uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius. Desperate. Oh my God, what is going on here with this insurance money losing their mind and desperate? What did we just have? Desperate and depressed. What's happening here? What's up? I feel like something just took a complete turn. Are you the father though? Walking away from a karmic fire sign? Possibly walking away. This could also be, man, like you walked away from this karmic and now there's no connection there. It's like, you're rejecting anything that has to do with them. And they're desperate now with this insurance money. Is this somebody who possibly... I keep, it keeps coming back to this common... I mean, this chick could be common law. They could have said that they were married to or were living with you for seven years. How does that work if you're married... If it's a common law marriage and somebody had a life insurance policy? How does that work? Because it's not a legal contract, right? You can't just say, well... Uh, I'm bound to this person by common law, so now I have a life insurance policy on them. Like, I don't know how that works. Let's find out who's losing their mind. Tell me about this losing their mind with the insurance money here. You walked away from this person and wanted nothing to do with them. And I feel like they could be they could be connected. Are you the father? Hold on a second. Does somebody there, there's something here, bear with me. There's something here about somebody. Not knowing that their real father is wealthy. This came up a few times on my channel about somebody not knowing that their actual father, they didn't even know that their father wasn't theirs, but the actual seed, that's why that seed is in them, is like wealth, money. And so now there could be something happening here where, yeah, King of Pentacles, Moon, secret father, secret father, secret father. I also see that there's an older Pisces male that's losing their mind because of some kind of insurance money. Why? Tell me about this King of Pentacles and the moon, please. Star, Aquarius, and Pisces. These could be two older men here with this insurance. I also see that because that Aquarius was here before, this could be like the secret father. Secrets coming out about the father and your mother. Yeah, queen of swords, queen of cups, your mother, a liar. You could have had a water sign or an air sign as a mother, but there's definitely something here about some insurance money. Kilt, look, look at, look at this. Oven, it's getting hot, it's getting hot. Steals from their husband or boyfriend. So this is a female. Steals from their husband or their boyfriend, unless they're gay. 
Killed their grandfather. Tell me about this. Killed their grandfather. I got Pisces and Aquarius that came out with that. Uh, killed their grandfather. What's up here? There's some secret coming out about this. Tell me about this. Aries. And Aries killed their gra grandfather or your grandfather. There's an Aries family member here of somebody here. This could be this. People could be walking away from this thing and rejecting this person. This is your family members here. It's another way I'm seeing this now. There's an Aries here because there's some secrets coming out about this, about a grandfather. Small claims court. They keep talking about this court thing. So you could have said something like you could have walked away and started talking about this. Or there's something here about why, or why, were, why are these, these people wanting to sue you? A gay male couple. Well, that's another thing here. I want to find out some more about this. I command the true spirit. Is this family members that, that had something to do with the death of somebody's grandfather here? Can you clear that, please? Can you clear that, please? I command the true spirit. Is there something about a father and a grandfather here? A father and a grandfather. Are they both passed away? Insurance money. What? Yo, how sloppy do people get for money? They're just waiting for this. They're waiting for this. Spell. Look, thank you, spirit guides. What's this? Oven and spell. Oven. What's that? Oven spell. What is that? Oven and spell. Oh, spells on the food? It could definitely be spells on the food, right? They're waiting for this to some kind of like uh, payout to make them successful. No. No, to give them some kind of like success in life. This is how this is successfully how these people were actually making money. Spell. Oh fuck. Inside. Inside the oven. Is there something inside the oven? Spell inside. It could be spill. I mean, and it just came out wrong. I command the true spirit from you. Is is there something inside somebody's oven? And it's a spell. Is it? Is it, I mean, is it? Can you clear that, please? Can you clear that, please, spirit? And you don't know until later. I command the true spirit. Is there some kind of spell or something that's connected to a spell? That is somebody hiding it? And hold on a second. I command the true spirit. Is this like a voodoo or something that they hide something in an oven they didn't want somebody to find that has a spell attached? Is it? Oh, they hid it in someone's oven. No. How could that be unless you don't use your oven? I, hold on a second. I command the true spirit. I command the true spirit. How you enjoy food. Are you just telling me that they use the oven, they put spell on the food? God, I need to get a straight answer here. I command the true spirit. Are you just telling me that they put something in the food? No. So this is something that's literally, I command the truth, in the oven of somebody. Like in someone's oven that, that they're trying to hide. Jeremy, I don't know. Warm. Yeah, oven warm. What's going on? Oh, wait a second. Did they put a voodoo doll in the fucking oven? Is that how they do death spells? Is that? I don't know. I'm just, I'm fucking freaked out right now. I command the true spirit. Is that like they put a voodoo doll in the oven as like part of a death spell? I command the truth, spirit. Did they do this to the grandfather? Did they do this to the grandfather? No. Oh, were they doing to this to this this other person? This person, I command the truth. They're doing this to the person who was exposing it. Petty, petty claims court to talk about. These were petty ass fucking uh, family members of yours. Somebody put a voodoo doll of somebody in an oven to get them warm. I guess it's part of doing a death spell. I don't know it. Yeah, you were protected from this. So thank you, ancestors. You and your person. They could have been doing this to both of you. Oh my God. Yeah, they were waiting for some kind of death spell to work on you. Yeah, and they were paying people to isolate you. They were paying. They were paying people to come after you. Page of Pentacles, some kind of benefit off of you being isolated and feeling like you have to constantly defend yourself to put your defenses down to weaken your energy field to like, 
it can't it doesn't work though somebody was trying to weaken your energy field or make you sick or something by putting either something personal of yours with a spell attached to it or, or a voodoo doll or something in the oven and then put and then put it on there's something happening here where I'm guessing something got bodies got exhumed because there's another person there had to have been someone who spoke up about it for somebody to want to exhume the body I mean Do the things that I want to do. Somebody's very crafty. Celebrations. These people were these people were celebrating what they were going to do with this money. But what's this now? Who's got the hep? Who's got the hep? Who who who's Hugh Hepner? <laughs> What's up with, with Hugh Hepner? Who has hepatitis? Who has the hepatitis, please? A water sign possibly has hepatitis. It could be a uh, Sagittarius. Or they could have lied and said that you did. They could have done spells to actually, can they do this? Do they do spells so that, I don't know, can you contract something like that from a spell? You see how uneducated I am with this shit? Has hepatitis. So, um, five of cups. What's this? Look. Somebody, somebody, but they possibly wanted this for you or somebody ain't doing too well. Somebody just found this out. This is what happens though when you have loveless relationships that leave you like this. Somebody's realizing, um, they didn't take everything from me. <laughs> they left something behind. What is this? Tell me more about this, please. Start your transformation today. Yeah, somebody's stressed out because, I, I mean, this they have a family with this person or they thought they were going to have a family um, with this person. They were definitely in a relationship with somebody or this is a marriage where somebody's realizing that the person that they were with, they stepped out. They should have protected themselves. Yep. I feel like they... I also see a, 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 a family group that lied, tried to smear somebody's um, reputation by saying that they actually had it. And then they were waiting for some kind of, I don't know, payout on something or something to come back from it. The ring leader. Who's this fucking ring leader? I am here. Who, who's here? Warm and I am here. Let's find out who's here. Who's here? What is this? I am here. Who Who is here, please? Who, it could be your, uh, the grandfather. It could be, tell me I am here. I am here. What's up? I am here. The ringleader of this group. This don't even have to be your family, but whatever this group of people is that thought that they, they were waiting on some kind of fucking payout or something like that. We're going to find out about this ringleader, but I am here and aim. I am here aiming at you. Tell me about this I am here. What's up? I am here. Pisces. There could be a dead Pisces. Sorry. There could be a Pisces that passed on that's letting them know that they're here. I also feel like this Pisces could have also been this, been this ringleader. Pisces, Scorpio, possibly. <sighs> Insurance. Ringleader. I command the true spirit. Is this ringleader a Pisces, too? No jingles or mascots. This is the mascot. This is the ringleader. And so what's happening now with this ringleader? So the ringleader Pisces has hepatitis. The ringleader of this group. Okay. Moon card, right? Pi yep. Dick. Look at that. Mm, somebody coming. Something coming out about a Pisces. No. Mm. I am here, aim strong. <laughs> Somebody ain't fucking around in the spirit realm. This could be one of your guides or something saying, I'm here and my aim is strong. And I'm aiming my shit at you. The spiritual oozy and shit. Sometimes when I'm done and I upload the video... I'm guessing that all tapped in readers do this and you sit there and you go over something and you're like, oh, that's what that meant. And then, you know, 
So sometimes shit comes out afterward. That's why I let this play. All right, tell me about this. So the ringleaders got Hep. This is Hugh Hepner. Yeah, definitely a Pisces. No fucking doubt. To death. Oh my God, Scorpio Pisces. What's going on? Is this person going to pass away from this? And Cancer. Somebody got this off of a Cancer possibly or vice versa. Stairs. Aiming in stairs. Aim in, in stairs. What's in stairs? <gasps> Oh, is that that money before where I picked up that somebody put money in the stairs? I command the true spirit. Is that what you're telling me, this in stairs, that somebody put money in the stairs? Can you clear that, please? I command the truth. Did they already find this money? So they, all right. I command the truth. I feel so down. I command the truth. Is this a Pisces that gave this to somebody? This Pisces? Can you can you clear that? I command the truth, spirit. Is there a Pisces, a Cancer, and a Scorpio that possibly have this? Because they were they all sleeping together or something? This sounds like somebody that wanted this friggin' um polyamorous shit. So, all right, so you wanted loveless relationships, right? Like you like the stress, you like arguing, sacrifice. Look at this. What is up? Paige, there's a female named Paige and sacrifice. But what this is saying to me is that this person wanted to sacrifice another person. And I guess this is them sacrificing themselves because they're possibly going to pass away from this with the death card here. There's a Pisces that's possibly going to die. And it's, it could be, I don't know. I, I don't know about STDs, I'm grateful. I don't know about sacrificing people. I know about sacrificing shit to make my life better. Not other people, though. I know about giving things up and having to leave things behind for a little bit so that you can appreciate them or move on from it for good. What is this ringleader? Oh, let's get some letters on this. This will be interesting, right? These are like my favorite now. What are we at? Oh, sorry to shake the camera. This person tried sacrificing you. This was the ringleader for this fucking coven. Wanted to sacrifice you. Look at this. Now what? What can you tell me about this, please? Okay. Okay, A. They don't understand. They understand now. Cat. Cat? Is that Kathy or Kathleen or Catherine? I command the true spirit. I command the true spirit. Is this like a Catherine? Like a Catherine. The ringleader. Catherine. There's a Catherine involved here too? All right. Uh, I command the true spirit too. Do you want me to look up cat as well? Do you want me to look up cat? So there's definitely a cat. They could. That could be what they call somebody is cat. But let's see what else. A beautiful girl who was sweet and kind. A totally awesome, fun-loving person. So they wanted to sacrifice uh, a f awesomely fun-loving person. I also think that whoever slept with this Pisces that gave out this gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> they could have wanted to do this to you. They could have wanted to actually give this to you. The pawns that they use. So this person was using a bunch of pawns to try to sacrifice you. Yeah, Queen of Wands. They thought you were like the karmic or something. They thought that you were everything that this other person was actually in disguise. Now, um, I do feel like this, this person was, was possibly trying to bring this heck to you in some way. Cat amazing person that's you fun loving person that is totally outgoing and can be quiet they can be a flirt look at this i grandchild and heavy grandchild and heavy this could be like grandchildren like are experiencing some heavy shit somebody's grandchild could have some heavy weight on them because this would be energy going back with this sacrificing thing sacrifice and grandchild and heavy Oh, not because they're big. Did somebody want to sacrifice their grandchild because they were overweight? I command the true spirit. 
Is there somebody who wanted to sacrifice their grandchild because they were overweight? Oh my gosh. Sacrifice, is their name Paige? I mean, their name could have been Paige. This could be a passed on grandchild that's saying like that they were sacrificed by their grandparent and because their grandparent didn't love them because they were possibly overweight. That would be super, super sad. I gotta, I gotta pull in some cards on this. Tell me about this who sacrificed who sacrificed their own grandchild because they were overweight. Tell me about this. Yeah, they didn't want nothing to do with that grandchild. They rejected the grandchild because they were fat. I'm sorry. I'm just going to say what it is. Someone's name could be Linda. Yeah, they only seen them as like uh, an opportunity. They, they, there was no so that this person didn't see like any success in this kid nothing so so they sacrificed their own grandchild they either did or they or they attempted to I also see that somebody was offered they were offering people money to move away from another person and to give them like this because they wanted people to hate you. They wanted people to not have anything to do with you. They wanted you like this. This could also, you could be this grandchild. They could have possibly tried to, to sacrifice you. You could be the grandchild. This could be your grandparent coming through and saying, my grandchild, they tried to sacrifice you. This shit is heavy. Heavy what? Here we go again. Heavy spiritual protection. They tried to sacrifice my grandchild. I feel like this is either a, a spirit coming through and saying that or they're the grandparent or that someone's grandparent actually tried sacrificing their own grandchild. Rumor has it. That's what he just said. Rumor has it. So I, I do think that whatever this wheel of fortune and this stability Whatever this is that's for you. These people were plotting on this. A whorehouse, if you will. The men who were there who were maybe murdered within the house. So there could have been a murder that happened in a house that somebody was trying to make into a whorehouse. It's hotel, motel I just saw. So you you have a destined relationship. You're destined for this, this four of wands. You could even have a platform that's doing well. This is what you're destined to do. Whatever this is, you're protected, you're protected, you're stable, your relationship is protected, your money is protected. These people are plotting on you. Doesn't have the money to give back. So because they don't have the money to give back what they stole from you, they were going to sacrifice you. So instead of them going to jail where the fuck they belong and, and like doing the time for doing the crime kind of shit, not only did they steal from somebody that they were supposed to get, but they were going to take them out so that they didn't have to do the time. Universe isn't playing. I just saw with a karmic mother here. Your current situation is about to change for the better. I'm guessing you handled shit like a boss in this situation. It doesn't have the money to give back to you that they stole, but the universe will come through. The universe isn't playing. They will give their life if they have to. It's got to be balanced out. These people really need to learn about balance and how it's universal law. And there is no other way. We don't have control over this. Well, we do. We have control over what we put out. Absolutely. We don't have control over how that shit comes back. I feel like it's super heavy for this grandparent to see that these people wanted to do this to their grandchild is what I feel like this is. Page of Pentacles. It's like they didn't want nothing to do with you unless there was a, an opportunity for money here. Whatever this is, nothing to do rejecting you, rejecting you unless there was some kind of opportunity in it for them. So you were guided to move away from these people or, or this person in particular. And you gain stability from this and you started turning this fucking wheel now in your favor. And now because of this, these people were plotting on you. But it was a setup from the gate. What's the story? Is there a story of Josiah? Is that is that going to be relevant? Like, should, should I look that up? I'm not really like, I'm, I'm not a Bible person. All right, King of Judah. I mean, I don't really know. 
Oh, instituted major religious reforms by removing official worship of gods other than Yahweh. Yeah, well, that's bullshit. That's when everything went downhill. What is this story? He was made the king. He was a good king who loved the Lord. He wanted to help his people. When he was older, he, he and his people started to repair the temple and make it beautiful again. So this could be your part in this situation where you play the part of Josiah, where you want to maybe fix the world, fix your community. Like you just want to bring good shit. And this is why your current situation is about to change for the better. Huh, fisherman? Was he a fisherman? Josiah? It was a setup from the gate. R-A-P-E-S women. That one I will spell out because I just don't know who's watching. Has government benefits in someone else's name? This could be your name. They could have benefits in your name thinking that you aren't going to be here. So wait a minute. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. These greedy bastards. So not only did they not want to give money that belonged to somebody else, but then they wanted to take the person out who was exposing them for it. And then let's, let's get life insurance. So let's make more money off of the shit. And then as that, that wasn't bad enough, they got to have benefits. These people, I'm, they make me sick. These are the types of people that make me ill. Tell me about that. It was a setup and has government benefits under someone else's name. It was a setup. Yeah, it was a setup. These people are unstable mentally, financially unstable, and we're trying to get themselves stable. It was a setup from the gate to try to make you look like you, anything, look, unstable. Why is the Six of Wands here with the Two of Pentacles? They were trying to create instability in your life because they knew that you were destined for success, that you were that you were going to be seen. So they want they so hold on, what's under here? Oh yeah, they wanted people to walk away from you, even plot on you. They wanted this for you. There's a setup and plan your trip. Yeah, whatever this is. They wanted your family to walk away from you. They wanted you stressed out. Nine of Swords at the bottom. These people that were plotting on you and wanted people to walk away from you and shit. And then they started plotting on you. It's over for these people. Yeah, the karma is destroying these people. Now they're stuck in it. They can't get out of this karmic cycle. You, they, they were plotting on you because they didn't want you to put an end to this karmic cycle. Because if you put an end to the karmic cycle, you get, you look, you put an end off of these people fucking manifesting successfully off of your goddamn instability. So while you're sitting here trying to balance money, trying to make ends meet and shit, like juggling two fucking quarters over here, these people are over here successful, get out of here. It was a setup from the gate. Clean them out. Yeah, they got cleaned out or they wanted to clean you out. Now they don't have the money to give back what they stole. Let's pull on this. Who is this motherfucker that don't have the money to give back? Let's find out who this is. DEA take back. Yeah, somebody got themselves caught up with the DEA and everything. Tell me who this punk is that doesn't have the money to give back. What? Whoever lied on you? You may get some kind of message from this person saying that, that, that they don't have the money to give back or they lied and said that they don't have it to give back. They could lie and say that they don't have it, but it could have been in the stairs. Hold on a second. Was somebody lying and saying that they spent the money or that they don't have it? Because on top of them wanting to make money off of your demise, your death, your murder, whatever it is, your organs, that because they can't do it now, they don't want to give the money that they stole. So on top of it, it's like these people just really wanted to see somebody down and out and busted, man. Tell me these are family members of yours. I command the Trezzy, I do. Did they lie and say that they, that they didn't have it to give it back? Was that a lie that they didn't have the money? Can you clear that, please, Spirit? Is that why the stairs and the stairs, they hid the money in the stairs because they didn't want somebody to have it? They'll be hating me quick. Yeah, we don't care about that. The more haters, the better. It means we're doing something. I command the true Spirit. Was this money found? Was this money actually found in the stairs? Somebody lied and acted like they spent it or that what well, well, I was just evaporated into thin air. Yeah, this is protected. You are protected from this whole debacle. Whatever the fuck this is, man. Yeah, it's over. Tell me about this. Doesn't have the money to give back. They lied about this. A sibling, a Gemini. Or these are people that, that just you love. Like you had fucking love for these people, man. Strong. What's this? Fisherman button strong. This is you. You're fucking strong. 
I feel like somebody, uh, they try to push your buttons too strong and step. You have a very strong step. This could be you. Just when you walk, you show it like you exude confidence in your step and the way that you walk. Lover's card. What is this? Somebody also, they've lied to the police. They could have lied now that this lovers with the justice, this could be two people that work for the justice system. This literally can be like two detectives that are in a relationship. They lied to these people. They lied and said that they didn't have any of this fucking money, this ten of pentacles to give back. Yeah, look, lie. They stole it. They stole it from this nine of pentacles energy. Fuck all of you guys. What's up with the pillow? They could have hid it in a pillow. They could have like shoved pillows full of money. With these, don't tell me they were that. What's up with the pillow? I come, I command the true spirit. I command the true spirit. Is that is that word pillow relevant for something here? I command the true spirit. Can you clear that, please? I command the true spirit. Did they hide money in pillows? Even like the, in pillows. Look at the mess we started. That's what he just said. Look at the mess we started. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or they fucking stole and they lied on this Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, bitch. Okay, all these people work together to lie on this this person right here. Why? Because they and they wanted they wanted people. They lied about them so that nobody would help them. We're gonna leave you by yourself. We want you to wither away because there's insurance money. There's possibly like you're you're not supposed to be here, and we're gonna benefit off of you, man. Fuck all these, man. I'm so excited that this got exposed. Or it's about to get exposed. What's the new way now? Everybody's got to get prepared for the big earthquake, he just said. So everything can't get out of the hole. They put themselves in. Yep. But wasn't that hole meant for somebody else, bitches? There ain't no Netflix or internet now. Not in prison. He just said, uh-oh, male tarot readers, a thief, male tarot reader, thief alert, thief alert, thief alert. <laughs> Who's this one now? Mean and nasty tarot reader. We're going to make this one quick and get out. Tell me about this male thief tarot reader that's a thief, please. Tell me about this. Who's this now? Same guy that creeps in. The same guy that creeps into your motel room would just said, be careful. Be careful of, of who's around you, especially if you live in a hotel room. Zombies, he just said. Male tarot readers, a thief. Somebody's overthinking now. It could be a fucking cancer male tarot reader that's all up in their, their cranium because they're being exposed as a thief for whatever this is that they do for work. They're not making any money. This is a loss. What somebody, somebody, Somebody's all up in their head because... Um, they don't have any skill. They don't have any talent here. Not in whatever this reading is. They're, they're not talented in reading. Cancer again at the bottom. Whoever this male tarot reader is, it's definitely a karmic fucking masculine. Am I going to be reminded about this all the time? Tower moment, Scorpio. Yeah, whatever they're doing for work, there people are realizing that this person is a fucking thief. Whoever this male tarot reader is, okay? They're sneaky. Yeah, they're getting karma. They're realizing that they're getting karma because they're stealing and they're posing as a fucking tarot reader. I'm done with this. I want to get out of here because I'm, you know, you guys are all going down. Everyone is. I don't care if you pull cards, read cards. If you don't, I don't give a fuck whatever you do. If you're a fraud and you cross my path, guess what? I'd run. Nowhere. Love you. We're not going nowhere, you guys. <laughs> nowhere but up. Love you.